Hey, this is Mark Kaufman, Blackboard's Senior Partner Software Engineer, and this is part one of a series on setting up proctoring. So what we're looking at here is I've got two applications running. One is the ultra extension framework part of the proctoring solution, and the other one is the LTI um, proctoring that actually does the LTI proctoring framework part based on IMS standards. So what you have, or what I have, is I've used two of our sample codes. I've got an LTI testing tool, which has a proctoring endpoint built into it. And then, and that code is here at BBDN LTI tool provider node. And then I've also got our ultra extension framework code up and running and I'm to the I'm to this branch I'm to the UEF panel branch and I'm going to show you those in a minute so and that this and so I've got that code running at this endpoint or this on this URL and I've got and it's on my local host I'm just using ngrok to uh, route to that to the right port if you look back here for BDB and U, UEF ngrok you see that it's routing from that URL to localhost 5000. And for the LTI tool, that's routing from www.avinet.com to localhost 3001, where I have that tool running. So that's the two pieces of code I'm working with. And what you can see is you can see their functionality on this Blackboard Learn system. I've got them set up here. When I click on this link, which is the part um, that Scott Hurry wrote, wrote a tutorial on the Ultra Extension Framework, he has where it, when you click on a link of some course content that you created, it actually pops a Ultra Extension Framework panel that says Hello World. So. That's this part right here where you see it pops the hello world. So that, that way we know our ultra extension framework code is working. And this is our LTI 1.3 tool, which has the proctoring endpoint slash proctoring. And you see here when I click on that, it's doing the LTI launch and we get our Bobcat. So I know that code is all working the way it should. Now, as far as proctoring goes, what you're going to need is you're going to need to have you're going to need to request from Blackboard more than just enabling your ultra extension framework. So there's actually, uh, because there's two parts, there's the, there's the proctoring launch from the, the LTI 1.3 proctoring launch, which follows the, that IMS standard. And that is a handle <clears throat> that is a managed placement that, our engineers actually have to build for you on your LTI integration. So what I mean by that is if you look here on this learn system, if we look here and we look at our LTI tool providers, we're going to see a couple of them. This is the ultra extension framework. And this is the one that just popped the hello world, um, hello panel. And this one is the LTI um, tool. 132 and if I look at the managed placements this placement is actually a placement that a developer portal administrator who is in tier 3 or actually somebody who works on a developer portal code um, they created this this placement for me that launches to the endpoint in my tool that does proctoring my LTI 13 tool that does proctoring so and it's got a type you notice it's got a type proctoring tool I can't create that uh, as a somebody outside of Blackboard. I have to, I'm in Blackboard, but I actually I'm just for as far as development purposes goes. I've got the same privilege as any partner has. I can't go into our developer portal as an admin and build this type, this tool type. Um, you can see here on my registration on my developer portal registration that. If we look at that product, so what I had to tell the engineer that set this up for me is I had to tell him the name of the um, tool in my 
I had to tell him what group it was in. Um, it's in this group. And I had to tell him the application ID. And then he created this. If I go to manage placements here, he actually created this for me, this part. Um, and you see here, he, he actually created this. If we go, if I go and edit this, I'm going to see there's a there's a bug here right now where I see it says it's a course tool, but you saw in Black and Learn that it's actually showing up as a proctoring tool. So that that's good. But he set this up for me to do proctoring, and so that when I install it in my Learn system, it shows up here as a proctoring tool. Okay, so I and I show you the Bobcat. That's just that's just a standard course content tool for that LTI tool. So now what about proctoring? Well, um, if I go if I go into my course and I create an exam, create test. You see here I click this gear, and you see I have an option an opportunity to configure my proctoring settings. Now I'm going to get an error when I do this. It's really helpful with the Ultra Extension Framework and and Ultra to look, be watching the uh, JavaScript console. So I'm going to open that JavaScript console here, and now what you're going to see is when I click on Configure Proctoring Settings. Here, let me just clear this because it put a bunch of noise over there. We're just going to mouse over here and click that. You see it says there are no registered proctoring tools with the Ultra Extension Framework in the system or they are currently unavailable. What does that mean? Well, what that means is if you go and look here at our documentation on proctoring and that's on docs.blackboard.com for, for Ultra Extension Framework and proctoring, you're going to look under standards not under Learn UEF, you're going to look under Standards and you're going to go to LTI and then Ultra Proctoring Service Integration. You're going to click on that. You're going to click there. And if you scroll down and read through this, it's talking about the two applications that you need. One is for LTI and the other one is for Ultra Extension. And when he talks about you notice registering is used often here, but this is the this is the code that I haven't called yet in my uh, UEF script that starts when I log into Blackboard Learn. So I need to I need to actually register my proctoring service, and it tells me how to do that here. And basically, what I'm going to need when I register, I'm going to need to add this script to the same script that popped that hello world peak panel when I clicked on that course content. I'm going to have to add this code to that script to actually register the proctoring service. And this 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 handle right here is going to be, if we go to our developer portal, it's going to be this this value right here. You'll see that on your developer portal. So that that's what that's going to be about. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, what we're going to need from you before we before you can start developing with this code is we're going to need you to tell us um, on your developer portal what LTI tool you have registered that you want to set up to do the um, proctoring launch to that tool. And then we'll register that on the one of our engineers will register that for you on developer.blackboard.com. Then you'll get that you'll see the handle that you've got for the that tool. So when you go into your learn system, then you'll see you actually like if you'd already registered it on a learn system, then what you would need to do is to get the new placement that they create for you, you would just go into the LTI tools. And you would go here and you click the synchronize LTI tool buttons and that will pull down his his new managed placement to your tool and you would see then that the your proctoring tool would show up. All right, thank you for oh so the next step for me that I what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take that handle, put it in the um 
the JavaScript for this uh, sample UEF code. And then we'll see that I can register the tool. That'll be in the next video. Thank you for watching.